Your first interest in design came about in the Midlands, you know, where Land Rovers and Range Rovers are built. And a particular building had quite a great influence on your interest in design. A lot of that is carried through. What, what was that building? It was uh, right in the centre of Coventry. And um, the building was actually called the Round Cafe. It sat on a central column, cylindrical, with a lot of glass. And as a very young child, I used to sit in there. My mother worked in there for a while. So I was introduced to this world of modernism and futuring from a very young age. Jerry, when you look at these two cars, I mean, they're obviously directly related. It also shows how things have utterly changed since the day that car was built as a luxury SUV. Remember, the, we're looking at the original here and where we currently are today, and there's two iterations in between. So that evolution, I mean, when you're looking at this to that, it's quite polarising. Having said that, expectations or standards when it comes to luxury have changed massively from when this car was originally created because by today's standards, you know, quite frankly, a car like this, as graded as it is, it's a car that I still love, would meet those standards today. There's another object here, an Eames chair. I know it's one of your favourite designs. It has certain values that are important to me in design, you know, being true to materials. The fact that rather than covering up the structure, the base, they've celebrated that, you know, the way it's constructed is as much about the design as the pure aesthetics. And I know another one of your interests is, is wristwatches. Um, and there's a particular watch that you like, which is a Patek Philippe, Calatrava, and, and that was actually designed in the 1930s. I just love it because of its simplicity. It's as much about what it doesn't say as what it does say. But every detail on that watch, as simple as it is, is doing a job. And it's just a, a beautiful thing. Now you're a collector of art, Jerry, and in particular I've noticed you've got some Joseph Alba's prints. One of the reasons why I like Albert so much is the precision of his work through the printing process, you know, silk screen printing, which allows you to get perfect lines of connecting colour. If you look at a painting by Albert where he paints on a canvas, the canvas has got undulations in it. And for me, that spores that perfect precision. And I'm never tired of them. I bought my first collection by Albert's I don't know, 15 years ago. The Kaufman House. It occurs to me there are lots of features of that house which I can now sort of see in that Range Rover. There's the kind of bringing the outside into the house. The first time we really did it was on the Evoque. This massive panoramic roof was a direct influence of trying to bring the outside in. People tend to think of design as something you just add. It isn't. Design is actually the glue that pulls everything together. The world would be a sad place, for me, without great design. 